Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood with me, Tiber, who has a voice, and me, Space Monkey 938. Unfortunately, on Tiber's side, I'm going to have to absent on the audio, so yeah. That, that'll be how yeah. we resolve that on his side, by the way. So yeah. if there is some desync, then that's fine. Woo! Alright, here we go. I'm still annoyed he tried to deceive us, but at least we prepared for it. So glad we're both recording this. Even so, next time we should probably try to avoid running around Kagane in the middle of the night with half the city guard snapping at our heels. Would you prefer to do it during the day? <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered I was gonna clear a log. I keep forgetting to do the start of the episode. It just keeps things tidier. Hmm. Those aren't bad looking at all. I don't like any of those. <laughs> Wait, but what, I'm getting the material. What do you say it isn't bad looking? No, they all look kind of nice. They make me. They 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 make me think of Skyrim. The one in the far right is asymmetrical. Ooh. The ones to the right There's are asymmetrical. There's some nice leather gloves coming up. And some fan service because for some strange reason it always kicks you into your underwear. From down here. So, yeah. Right then, Kyoto should be coming around soon. I think it's time we had a little chat, don't you? Nod. Uh, how many episodes have we done today? Three, four, two. Two? I was third then. Alright. Rise and shine, it's fishy. I know you can hear me, so stop pretending to be a sleeper. I'll give you another ride on my boot. No, 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 no more boots. Uh, all my secrets are yours for asking. Tell us what you know about Yugiri and Gusetsu. Every last detail. If I find out later that you lied to me. No, oh, no, 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 no more lies. The clear, unvanished truth. You have my word. Only the samurai did I meet. Yes, yes, only him. He asked after ship, so I provided the introduction to... To the guardians. You mean you led him into a trap as you did us? Because you are an imperial spy. No, no, I am no spy. It was just business. Fewer ships pass through Gagani these days. And we have struggled to make ends meet. So, when the Galleons offered a bounty for any dormants found in Gogani... Oh, my mistake. You're not a spy, but a common cutthroat. No, not that I'm surprised. You need half a brain to be a spy. That's what happened to the samurai. Such a cruel, vicious tongue you have. He would not go quietly. No, 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 no. Blades of a drone, men were cut down, and Zagetsukami came. They took the samurai away. Hold on a moment, you mean to tell me the Yujin they arrested the other day was Gosetsu? Oh, but had I but known. If he is in the custody of the Seki Sekumi, I only need to see to it that the requisite funds find their way into the right official's hands and your friends will walk free. <sighs> so what is an Unda? So it is an Ulda. So it is an Kugani. But given the circumstances, it would seem we have no other choice but to resort to the morally questionable means. We'll make a pragmatist of you yet, Master Alfredo. Pragmatic. Hmm. Are you pragmatic? <sighs> Let's see what you have to say, little fish. There's no need to remain your prisoner? Oh, fuck that. You're going to be here for the rest of your miserable life. Or until we eat you. You are free to wait here while I speak with the relevant official. But if you would rather wait for Gosetsu outside the barracks, we can go together. I wouldn't put it past Imperials to try something again. So mayhap it would be best if Felice, Scheherazade, Scythia, and I join you. <clears throat> Alright, but what about Yodo? I will keep an eye on him for the time being. We can release him after journeying to Gotetsu. Ah, release him after returning with Gutetsu. He will doubtless have many choice words to say to the little fellow. Soroban, 
Mayhap it would be prudent to prepare your ship for immediate departure? As you wish. As you wish. Everything is in order, but let us be off. The Seke Se Gumi barracks are to the north. I mean, these battles are alright, but I think get better on different ones. They just contain my power. No. Huh. Hmm? Apparently, Square put out an update on accident that made Final Fantasy X HD on Steam Online only. Then they reversed it shortly after. Oh. Ooh! 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 Oh, you like the one in front of you here? I like that! You know, you can figure out what they've got on by right clicking on them to an examine. Oh, I mean, I could. So they have here. the Griffin Skin oh. Breast Guard. Griffin Skin Breast Guard? That's pretty nice. And I like what they did with the hair! Oh, they got the Hailstorm trying to uh, casting on, but they don't have it on. Interestingly. <laughs> okay. Doesn't work with the hair, Space. Accessorization is a difficult task. Oh, I finally get a bit faster. In mounts up with the cities. Hi. Hi. I wish my cast speed would make this go faster. I must ask that you wait here. You may be assured that this will not take long. Uh huh. There's the blue man group. Oh. Literally, wait here. Is it really going to be as simple as he says, do you think? I didn't like how the music changed there. <laughs> I think uh, it's because of the hour. It's 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 evening now. I know. I just it was just suddenly uh, an abrupt change, and it was like, oh, I don't like that. Don't forget to wait again. I did. Oh, I missed something there. He, he said, said it didn't take long, right? Mm -hmm. Because this feels a bit long to me. Calm down, they say. Everything is going to be all right. Much as I hate to admit it, I share Hancock's dim view of government officials and their supposed incorruptibility. From what I've gleaned of the Far East, we're probably exchanging lengthy pleasantries. Seems to be a correct way to do everything here, bribery being no exception. Say we leave them to it, right, sisters? Right, right, everything's fine. Probably, I mean, it couldn't be as bad as the last time we stood around waiting for something to happen. Don't jinx it, woman! Well, we've already split up, so it's not a combat zone. <laughs> or it's one of the combat zones where we can just be together. Oh, that'd be fine. But they generally don't start like this. How about you? <laughs> what? <laughs> I love them. Mm -hmm. That was Gazetsu. I'm sure of it. He's in trouble. Uh, Lise, wait. Being blondes. Suppose we should follow her then. Also, where are all the guards? I don't know. I bet they're just training together. <laughs> Victory to the samurai! Just a standard spar. Now we're going to intrude and make things more complicated. <laughs> How many is that now? Ten in a row! <laughs> Kazetsu! Oh! This is a surprise! What in blue blazes are you three doing here? I could ask you the same thing. We've been looking all over for you, and then I suddenly heard you screaming. Mm, 
it would seem there has been a misunderstanding. Allow me to explain. Gesticulating. Gesticulation. So, in summary, you started a brawl with some off-duty Imperial soldiers and were subsequently arrested by the Sekisugumi, whom you somehow befriended and convinced to set you free if you could defeat a given number of them in single combat. <laughs> Ten bouts for my freedom, aye. Tis but a pity you came too late to witness the last <laughs> one. <laughs> your hands are facing into your armor. And with that, I'm free to go, yes? <laughs> Our word once given may not be broken, but we pray you make every effort to avoid future. I like him. Circumstances notwithstanding, my lord, we are honored and grateful to have witnessed firsthand the skill of a doman. I am a doman samurai. Right, right now, I'm ninja. I am too. No, you're not. You're not a doman samurai. You're not from Doma. I am a doman samurai because I was taught by oh. a dome. And we had just concluded negotiations. I gather my assistance was not required. Ha 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 Don't bring that up, you fool. <sighs> Any of the stuff better? I doubt it. Yeah, it's not. It looks good. Stop. That's going into my chest of looking good things. Nah, I'm fine. I'm chill. See, what I like to do is I like to like look for something I like the looks of on the torso, and then go in the way. Coordinate. Yeah, I guess yeah. Coordinate with the Go Zetsu. I also like getting good legs. Did you voice over to die? I don't remember, but, you know. Eh, I'll go with it then. Mm. I must apologize that you endured such trials and tribulations in search of me. There's no need for that. You had no way of knowing we would come looking for you. You were after a ship to take you to Domius. Yes? Just so happens, we have found a willing captain. Truly! What fortune! We will tell you all about it back at the company offices. Alphino and Tataru are waiting for us there. And everybody turns into ghosts and disappears. Don't make me and just keep humming all the time. Alright. Oh, she's still here. Look at that. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous! Oh, damn it, I forgot the teleports. Ah, teleports are a thing, aren't they? Yes, yes they are. Especially, like, she's got a really nice choker, too. It looks kind of like a bow tie, almost. Hi there. Hi. Uh. Greetings, Otter Madam. Will you be entering the Ruby Bazaar offices? Yes! Entree! Entree? Entrails scattered across the floor. No, that's messy and hard to clean up. Oh. Kotetsu? I think the 12 you're on the hunt. As you can see, Master Alphano, I am the very picture of health. You, vile fiend, malevolent trickster. How kind the Kami are to grant me vengeance so soon. But first I demand you return the coin you so villainously embezzled from me. You, you have every way to be angry, good sir. Uh, gladly, I would like to return to you your coin. Had you not been forced to repay certain gambling debts beforehand? Setting that matter aside for a moment, where is the Lady Yugiri? She was not travelling with you. But she's not travelling with you? Even. Lord. For a time, aye, but we parted ways some while ago to better improve our chances of finding Lord Heian. Lord Heian? Forgive me, I have yet to explain. 
Lord Hayen is the heir to Dolmen's throne, and our master. His was a passionate voice for the cause of Dolmen liberation, and when we learned of the Emperor's death, it only grew louder. Hmm, so you seized upon the opportunity and rose to claim your freedom. Only for your hopes to be dashed by Xenos, leading, leading his army upon your lands. The Crown Prince was a merciless foe. Against him and the might of the Twelfth, we had no chance. Once Lord Hien understood this, he bade Yuguri take to the sea with as many of our people as possible. He, however, would stand and fight, that they might have more time to escape. I remained by his side as well, and together we carried on our doomed war. And then one day, in a fierce battle, we were separated. I knew not what had become of him. Only that he was beyond the Emperor's reach, and that to find him I would need Yugiri's aid. The situation grows more perilous by the day, for the new Viceroy, Yotsutsu, eh, Yotsuyu, is a black-hearted villainess who delights in the torment of our people. There is not she would not do to further her pursuit of Lord Hien. Thank you. I believe that makes matters a good deal clearer. It should be, uh, it should please you to learn that we have come with aid from the Dolmen Liberation Front and resuming our efforts. Blah, 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 blah. It should please you to learn that we are come to aid the Dolmen Liberation Front and resuming their efforts to overthrow their Imperial Impressors. Da, da, da. Then allow me to join you. My inquiries here bore no fruit, hence my desire to return to Othad. Once there, I can lead you to our headquarters in Yangja, where we shall be all united with Yugiri. They have not all half the nose talent seem, would seem better applied here in Kugane, working closely with Tataru and Hancock to feed us intelligence. There's a Galian embassy just down the road, after all. While I appreciate the vote of confidence, I should be glad to accompany you all. As a soldier in the field, so to speak. Come now, brother, a competent commander assigns his soldiers the tasks best suited to them. As you of all people should know, and you're also very good at espionage and intrigue. We must serve each in our own way. Very well. I would see my place is here. Oh, I'm sorry, little boy. You can join up with us again later. Uh, is Tatara is gonna stick with her. I have to. Ugh. Keep your hands off him. He's mine. Saraban is waiting at the pier. Have fun, you lot. Bob. You do know that you're basically voicing every one of the characters there. Yep. Well, I take Kotetsu. I love him. He's a great I'm character. No, I, I mean, if you love him that much. He's a great. No, not like that way. <laughs> you may deserve a slap. Son. That's right. Um, you know, it's just like yeah, I don't know. Because I was like, I don't know, but I'll, I'll take him. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, all right. Well, I'm just gonna I mean, sit here now. You want to voice him? I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> oh, it's just the, like the way I was like, well, I don't know who it was, but I'll. And then you're like, I'll take him, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> never mind. I do that on occasion, yeah. It's... Oh, hey, Sorban. I have been waiting for you, my friends. All preparations are being completed, and my ship awaits its passengers. Shall we depart without further delay? I want a Fenrir button. Hmm? After you, my shell friend! If you insist. With me, everybody, the Ruby Sea awaits. Are you gonna have a submarine, man? Oh, level up. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it leveled up. Interesting. Yay! I leveled up for some reason I'm trying to figure out right now. 
<laughs> and so they went on a vast journey across the sea. And got stopped by something in the middle. That went ting, ting, ting. Seriously, is that if we end up having another dungeon, we got attacked on a boat again. <laughs> we should stop mm. taking boats. They're bad for us. I Airships, remember the right. water. How it turned crimson in the morning sun. The oh. hell is that? It's a space elevator. I know it's not this stuff. Looked like one, or some great spine. I have to look around for it as soon as I can. A shimmering sea of rubies, stretching from horizon to horizon. You could almost believe it went on forever. But beyond that red expanse lay a land in turmoil. On the shores of Othar. What the Ardenian hell is that? Is that struggled. like the world's largest Jenga tower? I don't know. Can I want to go all over to it though? And be like, mm, it, it's okay. literally a space elevator from the look of it. Wow. It just disappears into the sky. The hell? I want to see this at daytime. How do these people make this? Magic. I have to be level 62. Hmm? Hmm. Good for me, I'm 63! Oh, wow. I only have two classes that are level 62. The ruby Huh? I only have two classes that are level 62. Ah. How wide and beautiful she is. The ruby sea filled with promise, adventure, and treasures. Many wonderful treasures. Hey, All right. look, you're 63. Yep. Now, in order to reach the shores of Orthard, you will need to cross the resplendent waters you see before you. However, it is easier said than done. To set forth without making whether necessary preparations is to invite the Confederacy to claim your vessel and your life should you resist. But this fate can be avoided by paying the ruby tithe, thereby earning you the blessing of the pirate lords. So let us go and greet them. Our destination is the Isle to the West. That doesn't look very far to me, sisters. Why don't we jump in and swim for it? I've had my fill of boats. Hmm, an excellent idea. I think I shall find the water, the water to your liking. I will use my ship to deliver those less inclined to the isle. Is a turtle? Is, is she literally gonna swim? I don't want to swim. Hmm? I mean, could we just swim from here? I'm, <laughs> I'm not curious. It's like, oh, oh yeah, we could. All right, cool. I think we're supposed to. Yes, I think we, we are. Have to swim here. All we right. Are. All right, cool. Gotta show off that, uh... Oh no, Please. I just learned. I don't know how to swim. Oh, oh. Uh. oh. Right, this should be easy. And a good way to... Well, looks like this is a solo adventure from now on, everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching Space Monkey. He will not be appearing in further episodes. <laughs> right, this should be easy, and I can wait to loosen up before the next fight, whenever it comes. Twenty Gil says I beat you there. Well, yeah, but you could just go ghost form. How would you lose? Uh, no, we must catch up with the one that's already out of sight. Because she just ran off without letting us chase her. Like, I mean, she just basically teleported. Mm, that too.
Teleporting heathen? What a villainous crime you are. Villainous crime, whatever. I mean, I don't feel like giving you 20 kill. You cheated. Ah, so there you are. I trust you enjoyed yourselves. Follow me, friends. The one of whom we speak must is a man named Tensio. Tensui. Tensui. Oh, hey, Confederate sentry. Apparently, at least just wants to kick your arse already without even. Well, oh, bye. Without even, like, remotely talking to you. So, you know. She just wants to punch uh -oh. everyone and everything, apparently. Never stopping, just always punching. Never stop, never surrender, always punch! Hey, it seems that she lost her intelligence with that mask. Yep. Oh my god, I oh, didn't wow. even zoom out. <gasps> what? This place is huge. Yes, yes it is. Almost like it's a volcanic island. Oh my god, space, it's a toothy volcano. Ah, oh, look at the toothy fucking new. Ah. God damn it. It's, what do I look like as a dragoon right now? That's Red Mage. What are you doing? I need a class that I can actually use to talk to these people. Oh? Yes, because you have to be at least level 62. All right. I feel you have the advantage of me. Hey, look at my glowing bracelets. Most honorable and esteemed Shahrazad Baranik, and your sister, Scythia Barius, I am Tansui, a humble mate who serves at the pleasure of the Confederacy's cap. As you are in the company of the Shellback, I presume we have business to discuss. That is a big cudgel you've got there. Or is that a mace? I think that's like a kind of a staff. Um. Oh yeah, I think it's just a bull stuff. You know. You wish to pay the ruby tide, yes? With your guild, perhaps? It's just as well. Foreign currencies are in demand these days. Oh? I would pay for the passage to Orthard. Does this sum meet with your satisfaction? The sea has been quite tempestuous of late. I cannot say with confidence that you would reach your destination safely, unless you tripled it. Do, do you take me for a fool? I know the price as do all. Alas, we live in interesting times. As you came from Kogane, I should think I need not tell you that. The shadow of war looms, the wise and the cautious shirk our waters, and our custom. The foolhardy sharpen the knives in anticipation. Meaning? Sir, sir, you've got to come quickly! The bastards are at it again! I tried to convince them to stop, but they were not having it. Ah, very well, I will be there shortly. Hmm, a proposition. Your comrades strike me as a worthwhile investment. I would not hear men name me a cat before Koba, so I shall consider their tithe pay. Not for what they have done, but for what I expect they will do. I'm not sure what to make of that man, but at least the matter of our tithe is settled. Now. What was that he and the other pirate were talking about? Maybe you ought to go and have a look. Oh. Oh, he knows us well. Well, look at that blonde and he knows she's an idiot. Yep. Easy marks are easy. Na 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 na. That's right. Isn't it? Oh. Oh god, did we have to go all the way over there? Yeah. Oh, it's a bomb fish. You know what this calls for? I'm not waiting for you to finish your bomb dance. <laughs> Bomb fish, bomb that. No. Okay. Now. It's a bomb, though. Now. Yes. Now. Ugh, so slow. 
Uh, oh, hey, it's flying, flying sharks! Shark. <laughs> There's flying sharks! We said nothing about the flying fish, but sure, the flying sharks, that's what gets us. There are flying fish! Oh, Ooh. look at that! It's a fiery crab! The Kasame. Someone's hiding here. <laughs> like what? Uh, eh, eh. What's up with all the flaming creatures? That's the. That We're in a volcano cool. that is active. Is cool. There is magma. <laughs> of course, there's fire creatures. Uh oh. Gentlemen, I'm told you are most unreceptive to my associates' requests. I realize you do not look kindly on the Confederacy and her ways, but if you refuse to pay the ruby tithe, <laughs> your safety in these waters cannot be assured. Spare oh me your concern, pilot. Your feeble attempts at extortion will not work on us. He's got a Moogle chain. You remain at large because we allow it. The one on the right. Because you are such insignificant little pests that we see no need to swat you. But if you wish to risk the ire of the Viceroy, by all means, fire upon an Imperial vessel. Give us a reason to bring the full might of the Galian Empire to bear against your pathetic fleet. Bastards! Gentlemen, surely the fact that you have such limitless resources at your disposal gives you all the more reason to spare some few coins for the less fortunate. All talk, just as I thought. Come, let us away. I have no time for this rubbish. He's got bombs on his belt. <laughs> Well, the goblins breed them. Mm -hmm. Kobolds, not goblins. No, it's goblins. For sake, okay, it's goblins. They're mean. We're all the same to them, aren't we? Savages to be ruled or slaughtered. They've always balked at paying the ruby tithe, but they were never so eager to pick a fight. The problem, you see, is that many of my comrades in the Confederacy are of Doman descent. And the acting Viceroy, well, she's none too fond of Domans, to say the least. If we take any action to hinder the safe passage of an Imperial vessel, she'll accuse us of attempting to ferment rebellion and brand us enemies of the Empire, which we can ill afford to be. Like the man said, we're all talk. And where did the Kojin stand in all this? With the winning side, of course. They're mercenaries to a fault, eager to offer their services without coercion. Hmm. The Shellback could tell you more, though something tells me he would rather not. I don't understand. If the Garleans are causing the Confederacy this much trouble, and if so many of you are Doman to begin with, why aren't you willing to fight back? Because they need to look after their own. <laughs> Spoken like a true friend of the Doman Liberation Front. If you're planning to rouse us with noble words and grand promises, don't bother. We all know what the Imperial Army can do. Compared to them, we're boys with boats. Besides, what ties a man may once have held to his home are forsaken upon joining the Confederacy. We look out for none but our own. Why do you want to punch everything? Be that as She's it may, idiot. our livelihood is under threat. And the captain will need to decide soon whether we're to go down in a blaze of glory or bow and scrape for crumbs from the Emperor's table. 
All while our friend the Viceroy continues her purge of Doma's radical elements. I believe she's holding court in one of the fishing villages. Oh, cool. Let's go kill her. That's Let's go punch her in the face. Her perfidy knows no bounds. She must be stopped. Come, let us find Sullivan and put us here at once. Tell the others that these ones have paid. We all have places to be. And with that, we'll live it there. So until next time, all the best then. You know me, I can't end an episode right in the middle of a cutscene. But it's not actually a cutscene. It was, my cutscene just ended. Yeah, that's so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good night, everybody! Good luck, sis.